Hello everyone, welcome to Welty6. The topic for video presentation is Nickel and Cobalt Alloys Alloy Grouping. In previous presentation, we have discussed or we had a overview about how Nickel and Cobalt Alloys got grouped. In this presentation, we are going to have a deep discussion about how the alloy groupings was done and special features of alloy grouping. Let's get into the topic. Solid Solution Strengthened Alloys All Nickel Alloys are strengthened by solid solution. Addition of aluminium, chromium, cobalt, copper, iron, molybdenum, titanium, tungsten and vanadium contributes to solid solution strengthening. Of these, aluminium, chromium, molybdenum and tungsten contribute substantially to solid solution strengthening. The others has less effect. Molybdenum and tungsten improve the strength at elevated temperature. In solid solution strengthened alloys, pure nickel. We are going to have a discussion about the pure nickels. Nickel 200, UNS number is N0-2200 and the low carbon version. The Nickel 201, UNS number is N0-2201 are most widely used when welding is involved. Nickel 201 is preferred for application that will be exposed to service temperature higher than 315 degrees Celsius because it provides increased resistance to gravitation at elevated temperature. What is meant by gravitation? Gravitation is the result of excess carbon precipitation that occurs intergranularly in the temperature range of 315 degrees Celsius to 760 degrees Celsius when nickel 200 is held in this range for an extended time. Nickel 200 and nickel 201 are most often used to fabricate equipments for food processing and the handling of cosmetics and for items such as drums for shipping chemicals, laboratory crucibles and electrical and electronic components. Next one is nickel copper alloys. Nickel and copper alloys form a continuous series of solid solution with face centered cubic crystal structures. The principal alloys in this group are alloy 400 and the free machining version of it are 405 which is UNS number is N04405. These alloys provide high strength and toughness and are industrially important primarily because of resistance to corrosion. They have excellent resistance to seawater or brackish water, chlorinated solvent, glass edging agents, sulfuric acid and many other acids and alkalis. Nickel copper alloys are readily jointed by welding, bracing and soldering when recommended practices are followed. Welding filler metal designed to improve strength and to eliminate porosity in the weld metal differs somewhat in chemical composition. Welding without the addition of filler metal is not recommended for use with manual gas tungsten arc welding. A few automatic or mechanized welding procedures do not require the addition of filler metal. Welding filler metal applicable to this alloy group are also widely used in the welding of copper alloys. Next discussion is about nickel chromium alloys. The nickel chromium alloy group includes alloy 600, 601, alloy 602 CA, alloy 690, alloy 214, alloy 230, G30 and RA333 in which alloy 600, the most commonly used nickel alloy, has good corrosion resistance and good strength at elevated temperatures. Alloy 600 is resistant to chloride ion stress corrosion cracking and it provides excellent properties at room temperature and in cryogenic surfaces. Alloy 690 Alloy 690 with 30% chromium has even better resistance to stress corrosion cracking. Alloy 230 Alloy 230, a nickel chromium tungsten molybdenum alloys, has excellent high temperature strength and resistance to oxidizing and nitriding environments. Alloys RA333, 601, 602CA, and 214 provide outstanding resistance to oxidation and scaling at temperatures up to 1200 degrees Celsius. These alloys extend the temperature range beyond that achieved within the Nickel chromium alloy 600 by the addition of aluminium 1.4% to alloy 601, 2.1% to alloy 602 CA and 4.5% to alloy 214. Alloy G30 with 30% chromium and alloy 31 with 28% chromium provide superior corrosion resistance to commercial phosphoric acid and similar highly oxidizing acids. Filler metal NiCrMO11 G30 and NiCrMO13 alloy 59 UNS numbers N06059 are widely used to impart 
corrosion resistance when welding base metal alloys containing molybdenum. Alloy 617 UNS number is N0617 is a nickel chromium cobalt molybdenum base metal combination that provides metallurgical stability, strength and oxidation resistance at high temperatures. This alloys also provide corrosion resistance in aqueous environments. The corresponding NiCr CO Moly 1 filler metals used for welding alloy 617 base metal are also used to weld other base metal intended for service in severe environments. For example, alloy 800 base metal intended for service in 820 degree Celsius to 1150 degree Celsius ranges is welded almost exclusively with NiCr CO MO dash 1 filler metal. Other filler metal can be used but the supplier should be consulted regarding specific service conditions and suitability of such use. In general, weldability is outstanding for all the nickel chromium base metals. Next discussion is about nickel iron chromium alloys. Base metal alloys 800, 800 HT, 825, 20 CB3, N155, HR120 and 556 are included in the nickel iron chromium alloy group. Alloy 800, 800 HT, N155, HR120 and 556 are generally preferred for high temperature applications because they provide strength at high temperatures and resistant to oxidation and carburization. Alloys 825 and 20 CB3 are used in corrosive environments below 540 degrees Celsius because they are resistant to reducing acids, HCl, H2SO4 and also to chloride ion stress corrosion cracking. Nickel molybdenum alloys. The principal alloys in the nickel molybdenum group are alloy B, B2, B3, N, 242 and W. These alloys contain 16% to 28% molybdenum and smaller amounts of chromium and iron. They are used primarily for corrosion resistance and are not commonly used for elevated temperature service. They are readily weldable. Alloy B, B2 and B3 have good resistance to hydrochloric acid and other acids. Alloy N was developed for resistance to molten fluoride salts. Alloy W is used in welding filler metals NiMO3 to impart good corrosion and oxidation resistance. Finally, we are going to discuss about nickel chromium molybdenum alloys. The principal alloys are alloys C22, C276, 59, C2000, G, S, yes, 622, X and 686. They are designed primarily for corrosion resistance at room temperature and also for resistance to oxidizing and reducing atmospheres. Alloy 625 has addition of 9% molybdenum and 4% niobium which enhances strength and corrosion resistance at room temperature and high temperature. Alloy X and S yes are widely used for high temperature applications. All these alloys have good weldability and filler metal suitable for welding them are available. Under cobalt series, we are going to discuss about cobalt chromium nickel tungsten alloys. The most notable alloys in the cobalt chromium nickel tungsten base metal group are L605, 188, S816 and the 54 cobalt 26 chromium alloy. The loss in ductility. Is there is any loss in ductility in the temperature range of 650 to 980 degrees Celsius? The loss in ductility that occurs with the some cobalt alloys in the temperature range of 650 degrees Celsius to 980 degrees Celsius is characteristics of high alloy compositions. This characteristics is believed to be associated with the precipitation of carbides and intermetallic compounds which adversely affect resistance to cracking. The combination of minimum joint restraints and low energy input during welding makes welding possible with predictable results. Problem Contamination by molten copper will cause base metal cracking in all of these alloys because the rod form of cobalt alloys is typically sheet. The use of copper backing bars must be evaluated carefully. Sometimes copper backing bars are nickel plated or chromium plated or isonetic stainless steel backing bars is substituted for copper although with a resultant loss in thermal conductivity. Next presentation shall be about nickel and cobalt alloy grouping, cast alloy and precipitation and hornable alloy. Thank you.